Hello everyone, this is Echo Times and here are some news concerning the London Eurovision fans. Café de Paris, one of the oldest nightclubs in London, is set to close after it emerged that the venue's owning company are going into liquidation. Maxwell's Restaurants, which owns Café de Paris and Tropicana Beach Club in the city's West End, announced the news this weekend, December 19, which will result in around 400 job losses. The appointed liquidator, Live Recoveries, said restrictions on trading following this year's coronavirus pandemic forced the move, according to The Times. Despite the hope that December would generate a much-needed upturn in trading income, it was apparent low customer numbers, uncertainty surrounding trading, and mounting creditors and rent arrears left the company with no alternative, the company said. Maxwell's is controlled by Guards Polo Club chairman Brian Stein, 77, who bought Café de Paris in 2002. After originally opening in 1924, the iconic venue initially stayed open following the start of the Second World War, when its manager promoted it as the safest and gayest restaurant in town, being 20 feet below ground. The club was forced to close between 1941 and 1948. However, after sustaining major damage during the Blitz, upon reopening it built a reputation as one of the leading clubs in London, hosting a number of stars including Judy Garland. Agent of Change, music legends protest at Westminster to save small UK live music venues. Billy Bragg, Pink Floyd's Nick Mason, Everything Everything and many more from the world of music and politics descended upon Westminster to protest to stop the closure of independent live music venues across the UK.